thank you, and, and Mr. Wagner and, and Ms. Gambler, this, this, this question may be for you. Um, I represent 820 miles of the border and um, with Mexico, and the amount of, of goods and services that are coming across the border is, is in increasing, it's going to continue to increase, and I think one of the programs that um, I think is, is helpful, I increased traffic means more work for y'all folks to do, you know, uh, more things to weed through to find the bad guys, um, which is, I know, a difficult proposition. But I'm just interested to hear about the CTPAT program and, and how it's working in Mexico or, or the steps to, to implement it in Mexico. And, you know, is there any efforts to do preclearance um, in, in Mexico as well? So you're absolutely right. I mean, increasing, uh, you know, workload makes, you know, increasing challenging to, to find the things we're looking for. But that's where we look for programs like our Trusted Traveler, Trusted Trader program, CTPAT, uh, leveraging the resources of the industry to help secure their own supply chains. Um, uh, they have vested interests in doing that as well. Um, so we work closely with them to help each other. Uh, when we can certify that their supply chains are secure, they can package it together with a secure trucking company. We can designate a special lane for them to use under the FAST program for them then to cross the border. We expend less resources on checking them because they've taken those extra measures that we have validated and we can focus on everyone else. Uh, same thing with the, the passenger programs, the travelers that sign up for our trusted traveler programs, get vetted, get interviewed, get fingerprinted. We spend less time on them when they're crossing and we can focus on, on other are you, people. Are you having any difficulties implementing that or are there any barriers that you're finding in the Mexican bureaucracy um, to, to do these kind of programs? Not necessarily. No, no, not necessarily. We have a very good cooperation with the Mexican authorities. Um, they're very willing partners. Uh, we exchange a lot of information with them. We have our officers deployed uh, at their airport in Mexico City, working closely with them under the Immigration Advisory Program. Uh, we exchange uh, a lot of information with them, and we, we, we do have willing partners there. Good copy. Ms. Gamler, any comments? Uh, GAO has issued uh, a report on CBP's Trusted Traveler programs to include the FAST program, which uh, Mr. Wagner um, uh, noted. And what we found through the program was for commercial vehicles, for example, that are in the, the FAST program, which relies on CTPAT, that, um, that those participants in the FAST program did experience benefits relative to um, uh, shippers or vehicles who were not part of the FAST programs, including having you know, shorter wait times at ports of entry. We also found that trusted travelers um, committed fewer violations uh, than did non-trusted travelers. Uh, that being said, we did find some challenges with the program, but it was as it related to the enrollment of individuals into CBP's trusted traveler programs, including, um, you know, sort of how long it's taking to, to get through the vetting and the enrollment processes for certain uh, trusted travelers and at certain enrollment centers. And we made recommendations to CBP to, to try to um, improve the efficiency and effectiveness of the enrollment process. Great, thank you. Look, I, I think we can secure our border and facilitate the movement of goods and services at the same time, and, and that those should always be, be our twin goals. So thank you all for your time today.